To the we the people of the Kingdom of Canada, I address you today as your Commander-in-Chief and Queen. To the Russian and American people, I address you as the mediator between the United States and Russia pertaining to Ukraine crises. I have been requested by the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces to act as the mediator between Russia and the United States. I must inform the We the People of the Kingdom of Canada that as part of my negotiation with the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces, I have requested that Queen Romana of the Kingdom of Canada be provided an aircraft bearing the flag of the Kingdom of Canada and with the call sign Queen Romana, for short QR1, as we travel to Moscow or St. Petersburg, Russia. In addition to that, I have requested military escort from the United States and Russia to ensure that the, we, the people of the Kingdom of Canada, are assured of the safety and protection of their Queen. Furthermore, I have requested that my 14 or 13 staff accompany me to St. Petersburg, Russia, or wherever I must travel to facilitate mediation between Russia and the United States. I will now lay down the concerns from both Russia and the United States. From the United States, we have the concern. This is I am addressing as the mediator, directing it to Russia. These questions must be answered. Number one, the discovery of mass grave in Ukraine. Number two, the port of Odessa. The Russian military must remain east of the port of Odessa Number three, the port of Odessa must remain under the control of we the people of Ukraine for their economic prosperity. Number four, the exchange and facilitation of the release and exchange of prisoners of war between the two countries to be supervised by Queen Romana of the Kingdom of Canada. Now I will present to you the concerns from Russia, concerns directed to the United States. Number one, the weapons from the West delivered to Ukraine, thereby provoking World War III, provocation of war. Issue number two, the recognition of the two provinces that separated from uh, Ukraine. Issue number three, the release of the prisoners of war, exchange again to be monitored and supervised by Queen Romana of the Kingdom of Canada. Issue number four, the humanitarian corridor used by uh, 100, estimated to be 132,000 Ukrainians who evacuated via this humanitarian corridor either to Russia and other parts of Ukraine. Issue number five from Russia or concerns from Russia uh, is uh, who is the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces? And I can tell you it is not Joe Biden. So to the we the people of the Kingdom of Canada and the world, I am now serving as your peace and prosperity mediator between the United States and Russia, while remaining as the always Queen and Commander-in-Chief of Canada.